Power Girl, issue eight. Leah Williams writing with Eduardo mm -hmm. Pansica on the arm. So we are tying into the Brainiac stuff here, and this uh, picks up with with Paige trying to learn how to roller skate in in the park. I think it's Centennial Park in Metropolis, um, and it's her and Omen. She's given Omen a, a replay of of what happened in that fantasy realm from the last two issues in Ferimbia. Um, and Paige, despite having superpowers and all this stuff, cannot figure out how to roller skate. And so Omen's helping her up and trying to coach her through um, and, you know, giving her lessons on, you know, it's like you got to tuck your, your pelvis in, you know, like you're pulling your belly into your spine and Paige starts to get frustrated. Um, and as, as she's uh, talking to her, um, she, she goes, Oh, you know, but, I think you're just thinking about too many other things. You're, you're not being able to focus on these simple tasks, you know, like that guy. And she makes Omen put another quarter in the psychic jerk jar. So anytime Omen kind of oversteps her bounds as a psychic and starts to dig too deep into Paige's mind, you know, she has to put what, you know, put into the douche jar, uh, uh, put that into the douche, uh, douche jar. I can't talk. Cause I, I saw streaky. Um, but yeah, Streaky's, it's a very funny page that Streaky's, uh, staring at it. Um, but yeah, so there's a guy named Axel and, um, uh, that she's been talking to. He was a guy from earlier on in the arc and he's elsewhere scaling down a, like a building, like Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible. Um, like in full, almost like ninja gear with his, his face covered and, uh, Paige sends them a text wanting to know if they're like serious about things, um, which which gets him distracted enough um, that he doesn't realize the Brainiac drones coming around the corner, uh, and he ends up getting picked up because he's a science guy. Um, so he gets picked up, and uh, Omen and Paige come across where Lois was doing yoga in the same park, um, and uh, as as they're in the park, they see all of the, the bots come in and uh, Paige ends up snapping into action and tran not transforms, but, you know, ends up in her Power Girl suit. Uh, and she ends up fighting some Zarnians and the Brainiac drones. Um, and she's very confused because, um, you know, she doesn't know who these guys are. They all swarm her. She ends up fighting them off. Omen gets taken also uh, in, in this attack. Uh, and... She uh, Paige ends up getting overwhelmed by the drones and they scan her and leave her there. So they deem her not worthy of taking, which is interesting. Um, so she tries to stop the Zarnians. They all teleport out and she ends up surveying the scene of, of like a destroyed metropolis. Uh, she sees Jimmy on the ground, you know, because Silver Banshee just been taken. Um, she hopes that Axel's okay. She goes to the Kent family apartment and there's nobody there. Um, so she ends up going back and they even took Streaky, right? Uh, and so as she's in her apartment looking to, you know, taking onto account, Superman shows up and uh, explains what's going on in case people aren't reading uh, and says, you know, um, I have to go find them, but I'm going to need help keeping watch over the city. And so, you know, Paige volunteers um, and we get... Uh, like this really cool overview of Metropolis and the different sections of town. Uh, and there's each a different hero that's helping, right? So you have Steel is keeping watch over Suicide Slum. Uh, Hot Girl, who from her book, she was in A-Town, which is the where all the alien um, uh, immigrants live. Um, she's, um, she's really good to Metropolis, but she's going over like the airport area and patrolling the skies. Natasha's over at Strikers, so that leaves Paige in A-Town. And uh, she looks down and she sees a uh, Zarnian, but it's Crush. Um, so she thinks that Crush is part of this. Um, she goes to question her, and they end up getting into a fight. And um, this is where people might need to tell me about Crush, because I know next to nothing about her outside that she's Lobo's daughter. Uh, and maybe he a, was a the clone. He was the bad replacement and the demolition. Uh, yeah, but he got a surfer gimmick, and that was pretty funny with Mister Fuji. Yeah, he was disciples of apocalypse uh -huh. at one point. I don't know. He was a yes. 
These are all Brian rest- Crush Adams. I, yeah, I know these that are all much. wrestling jokes, guys. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, Crush has this like weird. Um, looks like a psionic like uh, chain that she can control. So it wraps up Paige, and um, she ends up uh, having a group of friends called the Holiday Girls. Um, and uh, it says, meanwhile, elsewhere in Metropolis, there's a, a bunch of voices coming out of a out of a dumpster, and it's a bunch of the Zarnians that somehow hung out enough to not get taken back. Um, and uh, they end up saying, like, this is our freedom. We're finally free, Brainiac. He's not going to notice. Uh, and they pick up one of the the blasters, um, and they end up incinerating one of their their other people so now they're gonna run around uh metropolis causing havoc so um a nice little tie-in um oh i also skipped over that superman is like well you probably didn't get taken because you're from earth 2 right they're not registering you as as a kryptonian from this realm so that that's why she didn't get taken like the the rest of them did um which i think that's a fair enough you know uh, a fair enough surmise, but yeah, pretty pretty decent tie-in that I felt like even if I wasn't reading the the main two books, you would kind of get a good enough vibe of what's going on. Although, if you're reading this and not the other super books, I don't I don't understand why. Um, but my my main problem with this is in in the bigger sense is it just feels like between Night Terrors and everything else, this book's not being able to stand on its own. It's seeming to having to tie into things. And take sidetracks, and it's kind of losing the the part of the book that I really liked, and I, that's like, oh, uh, Omen and Paige's relationship, and their whole getting into the heads of superheroes and trying to help them fight their problems that way, um, and like the, the little sidetrack with into Ferumbia with Supergirl was nice because it got to you know build on Kara and Paige's relationship, um, but yeah, I just feel the book's kind of lacking its own identity, so, uh, but but it's still fine. The art's pretty decent. Um, Everything looks the way it can, and I think it falls into the house style a little bit. Um, but the action sequences are drawn well. The the layouts are, are you know, pretty typical. I do really, really like that page of Metropolis, because I, I like when you can kind of get the geography of one of these cities. It's like when they do, like, a map of Gotham, and you can see where the narrows are in relation to, you know, the rest of the city. Mm. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I'll give this a 7. 